Sorry about that. Brief little thing. Let's see if I can do this. I have no strings on me. That's my Ultron impersonation, because he's got that mouth. Two holes on the side. Okay, maybe I should do it like this. I Okay, I'm sorry, but this trailer that I saw is awesome, because it's Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, everybody's seen it by now, I watched it a bunch of times today, and I'm finally going to give you my thoughts on it. So anyway, um, what are my thoughts on it? As a guy who's never read comic books, but is very familiar with the universes by re researching them online, okay, I'm only like... 80% comic book savvy, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, um... I have to say this. The movie looks good. It's gonna be a lot darker than the first, I can tell. Andy Serkis is in it, and... Rumor has it he's going to be Ulysses Claw, with Vibranium being a big part of the story. Let's talk about Ultron. In the comic books, Hank Pym creates him, but in the movie... Iron Man, or Tony Stark creates him, and I guess that fits, but it's going to be interesting because Ultron's true nemesis, the Vision, is going to appear in this movie as well, or is it, now I know a lot of people are thinking Hank Pym is Ultron's nemesis, but I can understand why, because he is his creator, but Ultron is Vision's creator, and they are, they're rivals too. And it's pretty cool that such a powerful villain has a supporting character for a nemesis. Now, I know what you're thinking. How dare you call Vision a supporting character? Well, he practically is. I mean, the Avengers are about more than one hero, and I don't know if there's a Vision spinoff. If there is, you can definitely tell me about it. I'd like to look it up. But I would definitely say Vision and Ultron are arch enemies. And if they're not, you are more than welcome to correct me. Or at least give your opinion. But in my opinion... Damn zits. They are. Now, Tony Stark. It look, the tone looks like it's pretty dark. Especially with the puppet thing and the Pinocchio song playing in the background. I've got no strings to hold me down. Okay, th I know that was creepy, but this was creepy too. I don't know if I can do the Ultron mouth. Let me try it. I can't do it. Not completely, but I can kind of do this. I have no strings on me. Damn it, that's cross -eyed. Okay, anyway, uh, my two cents, it's going to be darker, with Captain America's broken shield, and Harley Davidson's first electric motorcycle being used by Black Widow and Captain America. Are we seeing one or two? I don't know. But it's going to be pretty cool. A lot of things I'm looking forward to from this movie. Everyone's going nuts about the Hulkbuster armor. And the last image of Ultron... Not the same as Entertainment Weekly, but it's possible that he might have more than one form. It's like, first he's that protoform you see at the beginning where he's like, You're all puppets on the strings. Where he's all mangled and crap. And then he might evolve into that Entertainment Weekly Ultron. He's red and his, he's got red lights and his minions are blue. And then we get what we saw in the trailer. Reminds me a lot of Transformers with Ultron's face in his final form and the Hulkbuster armor, but that's a good thing for me. I liked the Transformers movies, but I know a lot of people don't, but I do, and I cannot wait to see this Avengers 2. Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch I personally don't care about because they're X-Men villains. At least that's how I remember them. 
I know Scarlet Witch and Vision end up having a thing in the comics, but that's not my main concern. That's not why I look at stuff for relationships. I look at stuff because it's superheroes. If they have a vehicle, if they have vehicles, that makes it even better for me because I'm I'm a vehicle freak. You mentioned transport modes of transportation. I'm gonna geek out. But uh, anyway. Bruce Banner, uh, Captain America's shield being broken. Oh boy. All the vibranium connections possibly leading to a Black Panther movie. I don't know if we'll see Black Panther in this movie, but it looks like he's on his way to showing up in Phase 3, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I remember this one guy, uh, Tyrone Magnus. Look him up and his reaction is awesome. He's all like, Woo! I don't know why, I just like, I like when people do that. That is awesome. That's actually how I felt when I saw this trailer. I showed it to my girlfriend, and I showed it to, well, I shared it on Facebook. Only one guy commented. This sucks. So, I'm going to put this on my Facebook account. Don't ask me what it is, because I'm not giving it away. My Thomas the Tank Engine subscribers, you're more than welcome to check this stuff out. I will send a link to his channel, or the video, what, when I get the chance, but, uh, anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Overall, Age of Ultron, darker, grittier, Vision and Ultron are true enemies, more than Ant-Man and Ultron. I know they got a bit of a history, but Vision and Ultron have the biggest history. So, because every time I've seen Ultron, usually the Vision is not far behind. Like, next Avengers, Vision, sorry, Vision was in that. Of course, everybody remembers the Vision fighting Ultron. So, Jarvis becoming Vision? Very likely. We'll see. Vision being the most badass supporting character ever? Oh yeah. Can't wait to see him in action. So anyway, uh, this is JokerFan45 signing out. I'm sorry I made this a crappy video, but I just wanted to give my two cents on the whole Avengers Age of Ultron review bandwagon. So until next time, this is JokerFan45. Okay, that's a lie, but now I have no strings on me. Damn it. I wanted to.